You know? I bet Amy got bored because this guy wouldn't let her duel anyone because no one could get past all three of them, I, I guess, and and Amy got bored, fell asleep, and yeah, that's, that's what I'm seeing here. This is now canon in my mind. Yeah, hello everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough! So, I was informed by Nick that I forgot something over at Ye Ol Psychic Club, and this is something that I mentioned that I would do, but forgot to go back to do. Remember this guy here that seems to have some sort of grudge against Murray for some reason, he wants him, me to defeat him? Well, what? Is that the Psychic Medal? Did you defeat Murray? I feel so much better. Here, let me give you this Mewtwo card. And, yep, it's another Mewtwo level 60, only this time with a different picture. Promotional energy absorption sideburn and Mewtwo goodness. Aw, yeah. Thank you for defeating Murray. Uh, you're welcome, I, I guess. I don't know what you have against them, but you're welcome. I had to get the Master Medal from him, so it's it's nothing personal really to Murray. Anyway, I'm gonna think I'm gonna put that Mewtwo in uh, one of my decks. Yeah! I actually got a couple decks built here, and I'll show you what I've got so far. This is the Rain Dance deck, and I got a sort of kinda decent build. It could be better, because you know, I don't have the right cards and whatnot, but I, I'm getting by. And uh, by the way, I'm gonna swap out some of these cards for some of the cards in my uh, uh, Charmander and Friends deck, uh, but, uh, oh, I should show you here, uh, notice that I have, um, 23 water energies, yep, I've been energy card grinding, uh, by Eren, so, yep, that deck is buildable now, and, uh, damage control deck, which is gonna be the one that I'm gonna be playing next, is a grass and psychic deck, uh, confirm, and, oh, look, why do I have lightning energy? Well, that's because they were a placeholder of sorts uh, for this deck Psychic Energy before I could actually get Psychic Energy. Uh, so yeah, that's kind of like how I build decks, just to get myself an idea if I want to build a deck or not. Just like slap the energy cards and, uh, you know, consider them something else. So what I'm going to do here is go right in there, I'm going to swap these out, and I'm going to swap these in. How's that sound? Good? Good. Okay, now... I'm gonna need some other cards for the damage control deck, because that's the one I'm gonna be using next. You know, Psychic Pokémon for the fighting place. So yeah, what I'm gonna do here is go into Charmander and Friends, and start modifying it by removing... Yeah, the Professor Oaks and Bills! I know, it's kinda sad, but I'll be able to put them back in later. You know, it's like, it's a between duel thing. It's just, you know, dis dismantle one deck, build another deck. And I guess to uh, remind myself about those cards that I took out, I'm just gonna put... <laughs> Completely useless energy cards in, well, completely off deck color uh, useless cards in, <laughs> I guess you could say. But they work for colorless Pokemon. Um, for the fighting place, you might actually want to put in, uh, like, flying Pokemon, you know, colorless flying Pokemon, because they have the fighting resistance. But for the sake of the walkthrough, I'm just gonna uh, play it with the Psychics and the Grass, because I figure that would be... Uh, um, a little more interesting than me being able to resist pretty much everything with the flying, so yeah. <laughs> but anyway, I got gotta get those trainer cards up to snuff here, so I'm gonna do that. And maybe I should have grabbed the Pokemon trainer card from the other deck. Hmm. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I'm guessing. I guess I'll do okay here. Um. No, wait. I got 68 cards. Hold on. Let's... Yeah, I know. I gotta take some out, but I don't know which cards to take out. Maybe I won't bother getting the other energy removal, I don't know. Uh, I probably won't need those. By the way, Damage Control uses that Slowbro thing that I talked about uh, to take energy, I mean, uh, excuse me, damage counters from other Pokémon and move them to Slowbro to protect them. But Slowbro, it can attack on its own too, you know, as, as an option. Uh, but anyway, I probably won't need... Uh, Energy retrieval, in all honesty, in this deck, I just kind of slap stuff in as a placeholder. Probably won't even need to switch all that much because the Pokemon generally have lower treat costs. I'll drop the scoop up as well, I guess. And then I will save, and I, yeah, I guess I'll hold off on putting the. Uh, um, well, I don't, I don't know, I'm confusing myself, I just want to show you stuff as I go. <laughs> I probably should have did this stuff off camera, but oops. Um, I'm going to... there we go. Just, uh, just to put them in there for later, because it's another placeholder type thing. 
And let's see if we can find room for those energy removals. I'm sorry I'm taking so long, but you gotta see what kind of deck I'm building and how I build my decks to see my process and I went far, far past it, didn't I? <laughs> Um, maybe I could get away with a little bit less energy, actually, come to think of it. So I'll do 22. There we go. And there we go. So, about that Fighting Club member guy. Do you remember where all the Fighting Club members were? Do you? Do you? Well, I'm not gonna tell you again, because I've told you many times before. Okay, I'll tell you again. Grass Club first. <laughs> Hi, Mark, would you duel me? Hey, wait, wait, hold on a sec. What's, 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 the, what's with that border there? Well, I suppose I gotta have the fighting club border even though I'm at a grass club place because these guys are all for the fighting club, so I thought it would be more fitting. Anyway, <laughs> let's duel Michael and... Yeah, Michael is this guy from the Challenge Cup that we battled before, the heated battle deck. Let's see what our deck can do. Well, new deck can do versus it. Mm, it's still sort of kind of ragtagish. Early game-ish, type deckish. And put out Ekans. Slowpoke on the bench, Tank Ella on the bench, and call it the start of the game. Yeah, I go second up hoopers. This disappoints Oh god, Magmar. That could wipe out Ekans pretty quickly. <laughs> um pop that on there. Uh, maybe I'll save that for when he does or tries to do a fire punch. Maybe. And for now, let's try and poison! Yeah! Maybe he might even switch because of this poison, who knows? Might not decide the fire punch. We'll see. We'll see. Mm -hmm. Oh, he fire punched. <laughs> well, that's okay, I guess. Uh, since I'm not super familiar with these cards and it's all ragtagish, I'm going to be checking stuff here, and I could probably get away with, uh, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'll just do this to play it safe. Discard that. Discard those. Plop that on there. Um, I'm tempted to do, to do the Terror Strike by evolving to uh, Arbok, but I think we will be good as is. So, and I could do another Spit Poison, but yeah, it's already poison, so it doesn't really matter at this point. <laughs> so, what you gonna do here? Oh, he's just not even bothering with Magmar now. As I suspected. Alright, so... Uh, what was the energy cost? 24, blah blah blah. <laughs> I mean, uh, 3, 4, 20... Yeah, you get what I'm saying here. Mm, I guess... I could do that to stall out a little bit. And... Get this set off. So, Terra Strike, just for fun. Yeah, I was gonna get knocked out between turns anyway. And Mankey is his last, I guess. <laughs> Unless he gets another one uh, in the draw. Which I hope he doesn't. <laughs> uh, actually, I, I do kind of hope he does, because that would kind of make things a little bit more interesting, I suppose. Because I'm on the verge of winning here. <laughs> uh, oh, jeez! Got Primeape! That could be the end of my Arbok! Probably gonna be the end of the Arbok, actually. He just needs one heads. Oh my god, I got tremendously lucky. <laughs> now that's... That's not something that happens too often there. <laughs> but okay, I will roll with this and do a Poison Fang. Poison Fang is guaranteed the poison! That's why I put in Arbok. Poison is a handy little move because it does 40 damage, I mean, I should say Poison Fang is a handy move because it does 40 damage by the time it comes back to your turn, which is very similar to that uh, uh, Psy Shock Mewtwo in a way. Plus, you know, it keeps stacking up the poison with the whole, uh, uh, you know, turn by turn thing. Uh, although it'll do 30 if it poisons, I mean, when it poisons, uh, if, unless the Pokemon... Ah, excuse me, it'll do 30 when the opponent, if, like, if the opponent decides to switch or whatnot. But, uh, well, he can't switch. <laughs> and there we go. Since you've seen his deck before, I don't really feel, uh, feel too obligated to re-battle him, despite his sorta kinda unlucky moment there. So, yeah, I'm just gonna call that a duel. <laughs> I lost. I'll go back to my club and train. Oops, before I go, since it's the rule, take this. Coliseum Booster Packs! Okay, oh go! Oh, 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 for the Rain Dance deck! 
Oh yeah, oh yeah, hoo -hoo, hoo -hoo. Oh, Revive is, uh, is a card that you could use for card decks that need more basic Pokémon, I guess you could say. Uh, even though it has cuts their HP in half, but it is a very strategic card. Uh, and you might find some use in that, despite how bad the half HP thing might sound at first glance. But the thing is, is that most basic Pokémon have, you know, relatively low HP, so, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, even 50 is kind of, yeah. Anyway, let's check the next booster pack, and... Another dub... Why do I keep getting these things? Seriously! <laughs> and... Okay. I'm heading back to the fighting club now. Okay. Just to the fighting club. No, bye! I, I mean, no now, just bye. See you again. I'm really stumbling in my words here, I'm sorry. <laughs> Alright, so... Next place, next place, what's it gonna be, what's it gonna be, do you remember, do you remember, Fire Club. <laughs> so you go off through here, and go here. I'm burning with Pokemon fever today! One day I'm gonna hear it! Legendary cards! Oh wait, you're not the one I'm looking for, I'm sorry. <laughs> I thought it was the, this was where the guy was. It's, it's Jessica. Training's so boring, you know, they, why do I have to do it? Mark, it's you again. What a pain. But defeating you should be more fun than training. Why, sure, I would like to duel you. Okay, let's do it to it. Love the battle deck. Go! So she's got a new deck to show off. Brand new territory. Well, at least to you. I know her deck. <laughs> it's kind of sort of mostly colorless feeling, so she might resist my psychics. So what I'm going to do here is probably, probably slap out the grass and attack her with them. But I don't, but Coughing and Pinsir both require two energy cards to attack with, so what I think I'm going to do here is uh, put out Slowpoke and just kind of use it as a temporary wall and let her knock him out. And then, then I can power up Pokemon on my bench. Well, I got a Psychic Energy, but that's I'm not going to even need that right now. Might as well start powering up Pinsir. There we go. Call it a turn. Move on. Let's groove on. And yeah, she's got fighting Pokemon too, but it always seems like that her best Pokemon are uh, the colorless type. She's got stuff like Dodrio and Eradicate, and you know, they, they have the uh, the special powers that they can you use to assist other Pokemon, you know, and Rattata is a decent attacker, um, as you've seen in my other uh, Charmander and Friends deck. So yeah, and so I say, uh-oh, uh she's got the rats of doom! What was the point of that, really? I did Maybe the resistance type thing? I... I don't know. I'm, anyway, what I do know is I'm gonna get Pinsir powered up, and I'll just take... Okay, that's what I thought. Four for 50. And then I will be able to start wailing, I guess. <laughs> Unless she energy removals me, which is possible. Actually, I, I'm not sure if she has energy removal, come to think of it. Uh, you can see it on the... You know, you know, her deck list on the right side there, but... I can't at the moment! <laughs> I'm gonna do that, and just call it a turn. I'm gonna let just let her knock Slowpoke out, not switching or anything like that. As I said before, it'll cost me, I mean, cost her... Yeah, well, it'll give her a little bit of card advantage in the prize, is what I'm saying here. And there we go. But it doesn't really matter, because I'm not burning an energy card to do the switch, so, yeah. That's the idea. Whoa, Professor Oak! And I might as well plop that on there. That's energy removal. Her bench Pokemon. Yes. Plop this on Weezing, I suppose, because it'll get Weezing self destruct set up if I need it. And Professor Oak, which basically says draw seven cards because I don't have anything to discard. And what else we got here? Another Pinsir. I'm only using Pinsir over Scyther because I don't have Scyther. Pinsir is okay, I guess. <laughs> Um, mm, uh, um, um, okay, let's just attack. Guillotine! Or, or guillotine, however you want to pronounce it. <laughs> and. What you got? What you got? Defend it. Oh, it's kind of tricky. Tricky dicky. Uh, what I should do, because she's using Defender, is since I got Can't Out Knockout, uh, don't duel this turn anyway, is just attack with Iron Grip and hope for Paralysis, perfect. Because what'll that do is that it'll prevent Doduo from switching out to something that might have more HP that can survive Pinsir's attacks, and yeah. 
So I thought I would keep it around, I should say, uh, have the best chance of keeping it around because Doduo has zero retreat costs. So yeah, I think that is a decent planning on my part. I guess I'll plop that other pincer down there. Can't hurt, I guess. And Guillotino! We're up at sweeping time. <laughs> very, very much sweeping time here. Uh, I don't think her... Defender again? Wow. Seriously? <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, I guess I'll have to do the... The old strategy of... Uh, I guess I'll do that. I'll do the whole strategy of Iron Grip to Paralysis. Nope, didn't work this time. But whatever, she doesn't have anything to switch into at the moment. At least, at the moment, as I said. <laughs> Always think of your options before attacking, because attacking will end your turn. Hello! Energy Absorption Mewtwo of Doom! I am pleased to pull you. Especially since there's a mop shop here, but I don't think I'm gonna need it here. Uh, she used Peek to check a card and play, but I just kind of clicked through that because it doesn't really matter which, which card she checks, because I can't really do anything about that. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm just gonna say I win. <laughs> Woohoo! Aw, oh, yeah! And with that, the duel is done! You lost! Because I won. That's how. <laughs> no! What in the hell? Why? <laughs> Got too many copies of this! Ah. <laughs> Watch another Doug Trio. Okay, <laughs> they're Gyarados. <laughs> Still! Oh, okay. Just come on now, man! <laughs> how boring. I'm going home. Bye. How's it boring if you got a good game? I don't know. But with that, I'm gonna end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part when I go track down the other Fighting Club member, and perhaps battle the master of the Fighting Club. Who knows? Who knows?